Welcome to the Greenway with Mac, the channel dedicated to active transportation. This video complements another video from Valencia, Spain about BC Metro Route 17. This is how you can break off from BC Metro Route 17 and ride to the gorgeous village of Olocao. We are starting where CV333 dead ends at CV25, slightly northeast of the town of Marines. BC Metro Route 17 will continue east alongside CV333, while we continue next to CV25 all the way to our destination. The road we are on is not dedicated for bicycles, but it has very little traffic and only serves a small community of homes on the right. This side trip is not long, only about two miles, but it is uphill most of the way. I wasn't planning to come to Olocao when I set out on my journey, but I was inspired to check it out by a woman I spoke with on the path. She assured me it was a safe route and worth the trip. What she didn't tell me was that it was a grind and that I would have to work for it. But I'm glad she did, because the juice is worth the squeeze. As soon as we pass this street, we will be back on a dedicated bike route. The town of 1700 is nestled between red, rocky mountains. If you didn't know any better, you would think you were in Arizona or Utah in the US, or Roussillon, Provence, France. The area was settled by the Iberians about 2,500 years ago, and these settlements are the main tourist draw. Our final destination will be the local tourist office inside Casa de la Señoria, where they can tell you all about the region and help you to explore. There are seven different hiking routes that they have mapped out for visitors, and they include distances, difficulty, slope, and estimated time to complete them. All of them are available online, and I've included that link below in the description. I was preoccupied with the construction and missed some signs here. This road and a trail on the left take you up to one of the major Iberian settlements, Puntal des Yops. This hilltop settlement was key to protecting the region in and around what is now Yidia. I just love this stretch right here. Is there anything more welcoming than a village that has rolled out the green carpet? to point out this sign on the left. The town has these all over and they point out the different hiking routes. I think it's a nice touch that helps visitors to get around without constantly checking their map or phone. Olocao is a town that is to be enjoyed with eyes up. At that last traffic circle, we could have taken a direct path into the town. But I stayed with the bike path and looped around the back of the town and avoided steeper inclines. This bridge borders the northern edge of the main part of town. the traffic circle and take your first right, followed by your first left on Calle San Diego. Remember, I didn't know where I was going, so sorry for the indirect left turn here. I've paused here to once again show the signage. Font de la Salud is our next stop. 
a little smaller, and to the right, it has the street name, Calle San Diego. Calle San Diego dead ends at Calle Les Piteres, and we are turning right. I actually went to the left and found a small park and some historic sites that can be found on the Fountains Route, or Ruta de les Fonts. Again, use the link in the description for that map. Once again, we see the trail signage on our left. This short trail is accessible to all users and takes us to Fountain of La Salud and some terrific natural views. Take a look at how well built and maintained this trail is. All ages and abilities should feel invited to explore here. The area around the fountain is mostly shaded by trees, so it's a nice place to rest and have a snack. While this is the end for bikes, there is so much more to be explored in other ways, and this sign is helpful for that. For now, we are headed to our final stop, Casa de la Señoría. In English, this means the House of the Lordship. The tourism office is inside, and be sure to pick up maps and ask questions. I was told that guided tours are available, but they are best planned in advance. Outside Casa de la Señoría, there are good bike racks. Entry is free. Inside, there are some really interesting things, like 2,000-year-old local artifacts, models of the Iberian ruins, olive pressing equipment, and a wine cave. Olacao is incredible and worth the effort if you're in the area. I can't recommend it enough. Let me know in the comments if you're inspired to visit this amazing village. And share this with someone you want to join you on this excursion. See you on the next side trip.